guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today I am so excited because in my hand, as you can see, I have the new iPhone 10. And we are going to now test out some photos and some video. One of the things that I'm most excited about, as I mentioned in my iPhone 8 camera test video, this does 1080p, 240 frames a second, and it looks absolutely incredible. I have a lot of high-end cameras that can't even do that. So this little thing is changing everything. So let's go test it out. I got Jenna over there. She's in her sweatpants. I thought I was gonna be off camera. My first touch. Get on over Okay, there. Jenna is like an iPhone photographer. Stop moving. Okay. Okay, do one pose. I'm actually impressed. That's good. I like that one. Yeah, look at that, look. Very nice. Oh. Just a little bit. So the problem is... Maybe you just have split ends. Because we take a couple more. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, oh God! We gotta do those it's again. not an it's not we an iPhone problem. It's a like it's a me problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's do a jump. Spoiler alert! That's how we get the shot. So much like the portrait mode that a lot of you guys are used to on the old iPhones, you can now do that on the front-facing camera. So there's Jenna, and now when I go into it, I hit edit. This will give you a good example of what it looks like. So here's portrait. Whoa! That's me! That is you! So that's the front-facing selfie mode. You can also use the portrait lighting features exactly like you would in the normal rear camera portrait mode. You can change it from the natural lights, the studio light, contour light, stage light, and the stage light mono. So right now, this is a test of the front-facing video. This is just a test. I wish that I had something more exciting to say or do. Hey, Jenna! Hey. Hi! What's up? Wow, well, wait. Hi, Nick! Hi! Wait, hello! <laughs> we're, uh, we're just at the park, and I'm jumping and I'm dancing and I'm having a wonderful time. So probably one of my least favorite things is changing from different camera settings because you actually have to go into the camera settings. So here we are, we're gonna change the slow-mo to 120. And then I'm gonna change the regular to 30 frames a second. Oh, hi! Look at you, you are so cute! Hi! Hello! Oh my goodness, so many doggies. Maddie, 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 Maddie! Come here, mister! Yes, you are. That's my angel. Hello. Let's see some dog action. Now let's see what it looks like when we zoom in. Come on, dogs. Give me some action. Hi, Manny. Who's a good boy? So my dog is not really a fan of children and there's a very tiny child here. Super tiny. He's being a real good boy though. Maddie, you wanna get your head peed on. No, he almost, he almost got his head peed on. Now we've done a video test, let's try out some photos. One of the things that I love the most about the new phone, one of the things that I love most about the new iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 is the optical image stabilization. Let's test it out, we're in a dog park. God, this phone looks so good. Smile, oh my gosh, that's great. Oh, that's a nice, that's a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Maddie, good boy, let me get that shot. Oh gosh, that's disgusting. <laughs> portrait mode, portrait mode poo. Don't eat me! Portrait mode poo. Maddie, who's a good boy? There you are. Who's a good boy? Wait, look here. Maddie, stick, wait. What's this right here? Good boy, here you go. Take a stick. <laughs> Bribery. Oh gosh. <gasps> that was almost the first fall. It's a look. Come on, come on, mister. 
Who's a good boy? a bunch with the iPhone 10 and today we are back here outside getting some more really great shots for you and I'm so much happier with how the photos are turning out today because we have much more light. The sun is about to go down but now we're going to take a few more portrait shots. I'm ready for my close up. Nick, should I move? Are no, you? You're good. Okay. Good. Yeah, we're both good. You get everybody staring for days. So this did a really good job. The color looks incredible. This is a good shot. <laughs> this, is, this is something I'm gonna send home to mom. Say, mom, thinking of you. These look a lot better than the ones we took yesterday. So here's one of Nick, who is behind the camera right now. Studio light, contour. Look at that stage light. It did such a good job. Wow. I'm impressed. It does such a great job of pulling out highlights and so much color in the background. I'm pretty impressed with the HDR, to be honest with you. You can have the option to just save HDR photos or save the original. I have it turned on so that I can save both. But the HDR photos look so great that there really is no need to even have both of them on. Oh, look, there you are. Am I in focus on here? Yeah. Okay, so we're doing another back-facing camera test. Here it is. There's crying children. I hear. I think it's crying. I'm not sure. I'm unsure. This will look cooler in slow-mo. Oh, I'm dizzy. The zoom lens also has optical image stabilization, so not only does this help with your portrait mode photos, but this will help with... This woman, she's trying to reset her Apple ID password, and I feel bad because I can hear her in the background. So obviously we've already talked about this, but on the new iPhone 10 it has dual cameras, much like the iPhone 7, but it is now placed in this beautiful vertical fashion. There is the new quad tone flash in the center, so this helps kind of even out all of the photos when you're using a flash, which I haven't even tried yet. So. Let's try the flash. What's it look like? Well, I've looked better. <laughs> At least the picture quality was good. I'm blind. Okay, let's see how it looks. I think it looks, it looks fine. It looks fine. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look amazing. It just looks fine. I'm try the front facing flash, see what that looks like. I don't like flash. I hate taking photos with the flash on. I never turn it on. The only time I turn it on is when it's accidentally turned on. One of the things that I'm really excited about trying out is low light with the new iPhone 10. There's also an option when you put on the live photo, which usually always turns on. And I'm like, why are you turning on? You're driving me crazy. But there's a lot of great new features like loop, bounce, and long exposure that utilizes the live photo. So maybe you might want to keep it on. One of the things that I do like about the zoom lens is it does have optical image stabilization, whereas the previous version did not. So congrats to me and you. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, let's, let's get out of here. 